The problems with living with other vampires are the vampires I have chosen to stay with. New Zealand funny men Jermaine Clement and Taika Waititi, who you might recognize as the director of Thor Ragnarok, adapted their 2014 cult classic mockumentary film, What We Do in the Shadows, into the new FX series of the same name. I've got my cake caught in the door. Well, yank it out! <gasps> The TV adaptation follows three vampires who've been roommates for hundreds and hundreds of years. Terry spoke to the cast about the show exploring mundane, daily issues vampires would have to deal with living in today's world. Most often they're um, dramatic. Mm. What makes them also work so well for comedy? I think there's a real fish out of water element to the fact that the vampires are from hundreds and hundreds of years ago and they've got to live in the present day. Yeah, um, but just like, you know, like the fact that they're like, they take themselves very seriously, you know, they're undead, and then like add in that they're idiots and hopeless, it just makes the stakes are so much funnier when they're just like, no, I want, I want to do the vacuum, you do the vacuuming, and you know, they're flying when they're saying it. Domesticated. And yeah. they could like kill really easily. Overdressed these. vacuuming. It's seeing these, <laughs> these characters in our everyday life that, uh, uh, you know, it's just absurd. I would like some of that uh, uh, colorful dust that sparkles. Glitter? All the, the dramatic uses, uses that they've had that made sort of Jermaine and Taika when they're making the movie think about well, what happens in their, they've lived for hundreds of years, what happens during those years when nothing dramatic is happening? What do they do? They have, you know, all they do is sleep and feed on humans and and if you have eternal life, you must be eternally bored. What's the day-to-day -day minutia of getting along with roommates when you've all, we, you know, we all know how hard it is having roommates for a year, but when it's been 200 years and the same issues are there, but they're all amplified. Can you define the style of comedy? in the show. It reminds me of The Office, both American and British. You're like, this is over the top, this is, but then it's so grounded and it's endearing, but it's humorous and it's like, how are we finding this balance and also it's its own thing. It's its own kind of humor. Very cool, Master. Very scary. Thank you.